Hi, this is Andy Nathan. As uh, we were talking about previously um, in one of my last posts, I've been going through a lot of broken links and old blog posts, seeing what's going on, seeing what's working, and I realized something. I haven't actually gone through TweetAdder in about a year. This is uh, February 4th, 2010, and it's a great video that I did at the time. However, the problem is that they've completely changed the entire system since then, and I figured it's time to just do another video just to go through how TweetAdder works. So, this is the new TweetAdder, and it's a really cool system here. I only have five accounts still. You can do one, you can do five, you can do ten, or you can do unlimited. I'm just, I probably could do unlimited at some point. Right now, I'm fine with just five. But this is just a great tool to use to build your followers on Twitter. So what I'm going to do in today is I'm going to actually just dive into Andy Nathan. This is my main Twitter account here. So I have 58,243 followers. I'm following 59,356 people as well. So you could see here I have a long list of 105,191 people that I could follow. And... I have five followbacks left, and I can unfollow 902 people at this time. And the other thing is that I could also tweet. I have 270 tweets left because I can actually schedule tweets in here as well. I can do search. Some of the features, as you can tell here, I don't use on a regular basis, and I'll go into why and how they work. Uh, but for the most part, I want to stick with these main features here in the green so you get an idea of what happens. So... As you can see, I could open up the user here. I could visit the profile here as well. I could turn off the accounts, overview page, and I could also open up the information up here. So I'm going to just click Andy Nathan. And when I click that, it takes a minute or two just to load. But once it does, what you'll see is that, here you go, once you get into the page, you could actually see a, a few of the basic information here for different items. So, for example, when I want to search for followers, one of the things I could do is I could type in keywords here. I'm going to type in real estate. I've talked to you guys in the past, a real estate and a mortgage broker. So I want to find real estate, people who are involved in real estate, anyone who's 100 miles away from Chicago in real estate, because I'll work with those people in social media now, because since I understand their industry, I know how they could use social media. I could really help them out. I could do a search here. Now, the pe each page is about, each page you see here where it says extracting IDs, that's actually about 20 people roughly, 20 to 30 people per page. So I don't really want to run this entire thing. This could run for half an hour. So I'm just going to click stop and see what we get for results. And here we go. Oh, I'm sorry. It's 100 per page. So I have 600 people on the on these these five pages here, and these are people that I can connect with, and it gives me their last tweet, it gives me their profile, or gives me their image here for their profile, and I can get their usernames. If I were to go through, it'll eliminate all the duplicates here, and just follow the people that are. It'll just follow the people that are. Are uniques because what this is doing is it's searching for people based on what they're tweeting so see that's why it's called the tweet search now if I want to do profile data I could search for profile data and do the same thing I can go by location maybe I want only people who have a I want people who have 10,000 followers 10,000 to 100,000 follow 100,000 followers and I want real estate and I want Chicago and I want them to also be following 10,000 people because if they don't follow back then there's no point in me even doing this exercise oh yes I want them to have a profile image uh, with URL set let's say yes and let's say they have to have at least a hundred updates and I'm going to click search now I'm probably not going to get a large list from that because that's a very specific list. But the good thing about this list is that, you know what, it'll be target people, exactly the type of people that I want to find.
As you can see as I'm searching through these different profiles and these different options, it gives you so many different ways of actually connecting with people. It's just a really cool tool. I'm going to stop this because I don't, I'm not really getting that much in terms of the search right now. And I don't really want to wait for this to go through. And that's some of the cool thing about this, by the way. You could do location search, followers of a user. So that's one thing that I do a lot. So like I'll find a user that's very similar to what I'm looking for. So if you want to find a real estate agent, find a great real estate agent and follow that user. So I might want to find someone nationally who has 100,000 users. That's how I have 100,000 users in there. And I'm going to follow those, the users of that person. The other thing that's kind of cool here is when you're going through, I'm going to go down here to follow, unfollow. What they will do here is that, see how it says here automation settings here? And you have maximum followers per day to send. And I can do a thousand people maximum. That's without me having to focus on one specific account. However, if I want to speed it up for a specific account, what I could do is, I'm going to do this for this one. I'm going to click start. And every one to three seconds, they will follow someone on that list of 100,000 people that I wanted to follow that I was talking about earlier. So what this does is I'm now following, I've already followed, I've already followed two people. Generally on Twitter, about 30 to 40 percent of people will follow back. So if I follow a thousand people, I'll probably get about three to four hundred people who will follow me back in the next few days. Now that brings up a big question: What do you do with the rest? That's why you have send unfollows. Now you have to be careful with this. I send this. I have my time delay a little bit larger because I know Twitter's a little bit against some of the stuff here. So, but you can unfollow people here as well. Um, be careful with this. Like I said. Um, and what I'm looking for is I'm looking for any non-reciprocal follows. You have to wait at least two days to do this. If you don't wait at least two days, Twitter can ban you for just fo for rapid following and unfollowing. It's a violation against your terms of service. The next thing here is tweets. So what I could do here on the tweets is I could actually create all these different tweets and actually have them scheduled and put in recurring order, posted randomly. And I do this as a buttress in addition to some of the other things that I do, just for additional information. One of the cool things here is something that they call the unique tweet generator. And I'll give you guys an example right now. So I'm going to have brackets here. I'm going to say hello and hi. And then I'm going to put in here, how are you? And then I'm going to put in here, you put a comma, what are you up to? And as you can see, this is not always 100% efficient because it's not that quick. I could then put in some, let's say I want to put in my website, but I'm just going to put in here a hashtag blog. I'm going to put in hi. And then I'm end the brackets. And what I'm going to do here is... At this point, now that all my brackets are in, I'm going to click Generate Tweets. And I just generated four tweets from that. Because every single time I did this, oh, you know what? I'm going to redo this again because I actually made a mistake here with one of the brackets. This does, by the way, this program take up a lot of memory on your computer. So if it's a little slow, be patient with it. That's one thing you'll notice. So I'm going to generate tweets again. And this time it actually generated, the first the first time it generated four because I only had two options in there. This time it generated eight options. If you do enough options, I've had some where I've created 10,000 tweets for one sentence. It depends upon how you do it. But you're basically doing variations the same. Hi, how are you? Pound hi. Hello, how are you? Pound blog. Hi, how are you? Pound blog. See how you go? Every single one is a different variation. Hi, what are you up to? Pound blog. Hello, what are you up to? Pound hi. And what they're doing is they're using the algorithm there to create these different variations. Now, I don't really want anything here, so I'm just going to clear the list. 
and it clears, it's done. But this is a great way to do it, and then you could just schedule the tweets. Now these tweets I have go out every 74 to 96 minutes, a maximum of six tweets per day. And if I have 274 out there, that basically takes 274 divided by six at the most. Some days I don't even get any out. It will generally take me three to four months to get through those tweets. So, and I have a few different type of tweets out here. The next one here, and this is one that I need to add, and I had a reset on my uh, tweet adder account of about a month or two ago. I haven't added this. Is a feed. So this is a perfect opportunity. Feeds that feedburner.com this is my Andy Nathan feed I think I made a misspelling here and the it's my feed is actually Twitter goal because that was the original name of my feed I haven't changed it because I have so many I have like two three hundred people on my feed now that doesn't make sense to actually change it and what I could do is I could post a tweet every 20 to 80 minutes well that's not necessary because the reality is if I post once a day I don't need it that often so what I'm going to do is I'm going to post every 360 to every 480 minutes I'm going to do a maximum of three per day which I don't think will even be an issue and I'm also going to put pound blog at the end because this is a blog and I want to include a title and so basically the title of the article and included a description so it pulls the description from the article so when you do a description in your blog post it'll actually pull it from there I go add RSS feed and there you go and then every single time I get a post it'll do that now I, all I need to do here and this is with all of these you go automation on and that's all I really need to do and whenever I have, and this only works when Tweet Adder is on, by the way. If Tweet Adder is not on, this will not work. But whatever Tweet Adder is on, this will start working for you. The next one is retweets. So what I could do here is if I want to retweet, if I want to retweet users at random intervals throughout the day, what I'm going to do is I need to find users. So, for example, um, let's just take Smart at the Start. That's one of my other accounts. and I want to retweet them and let's say I only want to do this once every let's just go 240 to 360 minutes maximum of 10 per day which won't even be an issue at this point and I'm gonna have add retweet basically I could retweet that user 10 times a day and I can go in and I could do this for all my accounts now all I need to do I click automation on and I'm done. Now I can look for specific keywords by the way as well. So maybe what I might want to do is when I have pound blog for the keyword I could add that in. And this is a great way to help out my retweets as well so I'm keeping track of other people and people that I value their comments. I could retweet them automatically making sure that they get due credit and get enough uh, traffic to their sites. I could also send thank you messages automatically to people as well. So that's pretty much it for right now on uh, the basics. There's some few other features in here, uh, but these are some of the ones I really just wanted to show you. Uh, this is Andy Nathan from AndyNathan.net. For those of you who are looking how to use TweetAdder, take a look. There will be a link similar to the one right here um, below this video, and I definitely encourage you to go in, click on it. So thank you very much. For